if I look at the economic aspect, it is the most cost-effective tool that we have today to fight infectious disease. It is a product that is going to help your body being prepared against an infectious agent, against an infection. In Korea, we don't see tetanus anymore. We don't see diphtheria anymore. We don't see meningitis anymore. We don't see hepatitis B anymore. All that is because young children are vaccinated. You know, we give one injection with various components that are going to stimulate the immune system, the body, you know, the resistance to infection. I was a young doctor. I, I was trained in, in France. And in France, you know, like any developed country, we have good equipment, good services. So I, medicine is easier to practice. And I went for my first posting in Algeria, in North Africa. And, and after that, in other African countries. And I, I saw kids dying because of lack of ability of you know, equipment, drugs, and a lot of things, and things that have to be done. And I always kept that in mind, that there were in this world places where kids were dying from diseases that were not anymore in developed countries. And that's public health. That's where I learned that I wanted to work in public health. Uh, never be scared of going out of the country for some time to learn. You know, when you go overseas, you go to the US for training, you go to Europe, and then you go to Africa, to developing country, you open your mind to a lot of new experience. And you bring back to the country that experience and make in turn the country to be even more open to the outside world. And today we know the world is not, cannot be limited to the border of a country. So it's very important to go out of the country to learn what is outside and bring that experience back to the country and to make your own place.